recent video I combined competing brands and you wanted to see it again. So today we're combining all three of these brand combinations, starting with M&Ms and Skittles together. And for each combination, we have to do three different things. So obviously design the completely new version of it, but with using similar colors as well. And then we gotta give it a name too. The first combination is the M&M and Skittles. So we're gonna start combining that with this bag right here on the right. So the first things we're gonna get off of Google is literally just like an M&M with no background and the same thing with the Skittle too. And now we just gotta take one and put it over the other and just kind of basically use half and half on each and split it down the middle. So as you can see, it's literally half and half, but it definitely looks kind of weird. So I think what I'm gonna do is combine the colors together so you can't really see the letters anymore and then we'll put something else on top. So now it's just kind of one thing together. I think I'm actually just gonna put the like M&M's logo and the Skittles one together combined. So this is really what we came up with right here. Obviously it's got the M&M with the X and the Skittles right there. So, all right, now I feel like we definitely need that glow on top of it again. So we're gonna start adding some glow back into it. Now we can actually make it real small and just kind of put it into the design. I'm gonna copy it and use a couple different ones and change the color of them. All right, now we got a couple different color ones and I will just make them a little bit like different sizing and stuff so it doesn't look all the same. We'll add some drop shadow on it too as well. Obviously that looks terrible so we'll just change it up and make it look way better. And then for the gradient, I'm gonna just put one that has only two different colors and we'll put one that's kind of, you know, more of a mix of like this brown and red or maybe even like the original orange and red one that we did right there. All right, now the next thing we definitely need to add is like that net weight text at the bottom left right there and also at the bottom right of the Skittles like bite size candy, something like that to have the text on the bottom. And now I definitely see on both of them, the M&Ms and the Skittles, they got like the little calorie count right there. And since they both have like the same exact shape thing, I'll just make exactly that too. So to do that, we're gonna start with like the rectangle tool right here. We use the ellipse tool right here. It's basically a circle so we can make the tops kind of stretch it out like this. And now we got our 240 calories little thing right there. All right, now we definitely have a lot on here already, but I feel like this whole middle, you know, part right there is definitely empty. So we should probably put like a main text. I think I'm gonna actually just reuse the same text that I have on top of the M&M slash Skittle combos. Now I feel like we need something in the background since it's kind of flat. Basically went on Google and just got these lines right here and put that in the background. It's like clippy mask too. So it's not going off the bag. It's just staying inside of it. I think for the color, overlay will leave it kind of like a red that's a little bit down a little bit so it kind of matches in with the background more now the next thing i put into the bag was this actual m m character and then his hand kind of goes up towards like the logo right there so you focus on that that's going to be the final design right there now let's move on to the next one and right, now for the next combination is actually oreos plus hot cheetos right here all right but the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just change the bag color because obviously i don't want it to be blue it's gonna be flaming hot we may as well just put it red i feel like there's no background it's just like a blank red so i'm gonna put like these lines that kind of fade away and we just need to cut out the background of them like that then i'll probably just put it like towards the corner right here all right so that's how it looks right there and then i'm gonna copy and paste and put on the top right as well and right, now we're gonna get some like simple fire for the background as well too probably something like that now we got the fire we're just gonna literally clipping mask it put it in the background as well all right now we're gonna get the oreo logo png so it has no background and right, now we got the oreo logo i'm gonna just put it into the bag and actually probably change it red and we'll add some drop shadow on it too to make get more 3d and then i'm pretty sure they already got red oreos yeah they got the supreme ones right here i'm not gonna use that one yeah i think i'll actually use these i tried the like red velvet ones but we'll just change it up a little bit too and then we'll actually use some fire like this too to put behind the oreo i'm just gonna place it into the bag kind of how i want it i'll probably put it more down here so we have some room for like some more text i'm actually clipping mask into the bag and it can kind of hang off on the edges like that too but it's still gonna be inside and now we got our flaming hot oreos text right there i think the last thing to do is just add like the net weight text right here and stuff at the bottom all right, now we just basically match the bottom two texts right there from the one on the chips right there and the Oreos on the bottom left right there. All right, now that design is complete, let's move on to the final and last one. Last combination is right here is the cookies basically with the goldfish too. Same thing with the other one, we got to completely design the combination with using similar colors, which the name will probably just end up being like, you know, Chips Ahoy X Goldfish like the other ones too. We're gonna need the Chips Ahoy logo to start. And right, now after we change the color, we basically just put it orange. All right, and then we got the goldfish logo right there. Now we just basically got to combine them, put them together. I'm gonna just put it up on this corner right here for now and then we'll change the background and add some stuff before even the background i actually made this right here so it was basically you know the cookie right there combined with that just like the other one on the top left i also got the bite out of it with the crumbs and stuff we can do something like that yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is put it inside the box then like that and then now we gotta put like the little bite out of it i'm gonna use the eraser and just put like a bunch of little ones right here and i know the shadow actually looks kind of weird coming out so i'm gonna just erase that and fix this side like that all right there we go we basically have that now we just should add like the crumbs and stuff all right there i just basically copied and pasted them around there and then i add some drop shadow too just to give it some more depth just like the other part of it all right that was the color before now we got that one that definitely matches way better all right then obviously like the cheese and the goldfish like that we could use something for the background just put it inside the design right there to just like fade it out so it only goes like halfway 
All right, and then I actually kind of like how on the goldfish one, it's like the top half is white and then it goes down to the orange. So I'm gonna try that on this one too. I feel like we just need to add some of the rest of the text that it has like up there and stuff. All right, so we're just gonna use this picture right here and we'll add the text that it has. I right, see, so yeah, we put that up there on the left on the corner and we'll put an arch too and put it under it like that. But now we have our text. It basically looks the same as the other one. All right, now that's done, we're gonna put a perspective on it so it actually looks like it's more on the actual thing. This does kind of look a little bit empty on the top, even though we put that, you know, real cheddar cheese type thing right there. But it has like a triangle and the two open and don't purchase if it's already open and all that so we're gonna put that text on the top as well all right there we go we added that text on the top right as well almost done we just added some more text right there on the top just to match that uh, text on the top of the chips ahoy thing right there right, that's the final design right there if you definitely did enjoy the video leave a like and if you want to watch the next one definitely consider watching it